Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Bill Guile, and uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at uh, some changes coming our way. Once again, we're going back into higher humidity levels. The dew points are going to be rising. So we noticed it was a little on the muggy side today, but those dew points are going to start getting very humid as we go through tomorrow afternoon. And then we're back into the oppressive humidity again. This is when our dew points go to 70 degrees or higher, and that is certainly going to be the case Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then as we uh, finish the work week, we'll start to pull it back just a little bit, setting us up for the weekend. Outside right now, quite enjoyable out there this evening. A few clouds around here and there. Shower trying to come out of the Berkshires. I think most of this activity is going to be uh, falling apart by the time it gets into northeast Connecticut. So as we look down the bay, a gorgeous evening setting up out there with just a few clouds to the south. Temperatures 84 in Providence. The dew point, uh, yeah, not too bad at 61. A nice breeze out of the northwest nine miles an hour and we're seeing most readings in the 80s a few warmer spots though as you get down towards uh, north kingstown at 88 degrees but how the coastline doing quite nice 77 right now in newport and out on block island we're looking at to 76 degrees now we widen out a little bit and we do see plenty of warmth out in here now there's a couple frontal boundaries that are just sitting in place for the most part it's kind of a unique feature we don't see it happen too often uh, but we do have a fairly stationary front down along the uh, mid-atlantic coastline and basically a weak cold front. It's almost stationary because it's attached to another area of weak low pressure back through the Great Lakes. So neither is really moving all that much. And what they're really doing is just separating the air masses based on the dew points. So we're talking about nice comfortable air in northern New England. It's humid and you saw that or you may have felt it this afternoon in southern New England down towards uh, all the way down to the D.C. area, and then it gets tropical again south of there. Well, that's what's moving back in our direction. So here's how things are going to be playing out on our weather maps. There is an area of high pressure still kind of hanging around for tomorrow, so it should keep us mostly on the dry side. Can't rule out a spot shower, but it's tomorrow night. It gives way, and an area of low pressure is going to come along that southern boundary, and that's going to push back in the tropical air, and we're going to get back into some periods of rain for Monday night, early Tuesday morning, some of which could be heavy at times. Then we're just going to do it all over again as we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning and then Wednesday afternoon another round of showers and storms. So here's how things play out a closer view kind of see what we're talking about here. Uh, for tomorrow morning not too bad there'll be a little bit of cloudiness around but it's still a fair amount of sunshine but those clouds thicken up during the afternoon with our temperatures heading uh, back well into the uh, low and mid 80s. A spot shower can't be ruled out but it's late tomorrow night and early Tuesday morning that some of the rain comes in and some of it could be heavy at times. And then that moves on through from midday and into the afternoon, another spot shower around. But then look what happens again as we go on to Wednesday. Boom, here it comes right back at us midday and afternoon. We can have a round of showers and storms. And right now, some of the computer model guidance is suggesting we'll see about one to two inches of rainfall. It's possible we could see a little bit more, and that's going to last right on into Thursday in this very humid air mass. But if we start to break it a bit as we get on into Friday, so it won't be quite as humid. And that sets us up for a weekend that at this point is looking pretty good.